This is Twit. Because we've, there's been a lot of chatter about OnePlus lately. Um, and, you know, we thought we knew what we were going to get with the OnePlus 11. Uh, but looks like OnePlus is throwing a curveball. Uh, one, the OnePlus 11 concept with a, what can only be described as plentiful LED array on the rear of the device. Uh, and if you're watching the video show, you can see it, uh, a LED circle around the camera bump and then some squiggly lines Ooh. coming out from the bottom of it. Uh, it almost looks like a Tron phone, to be yeah, honest with you. it does. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, very, very cool LED around the camera and around the back of it. Um, and it's, uh, according to OnePlus, is meant to, quote, unquote, show the engineering breakthroughs of the OnePlus 11 concept by highlighting the icy blue pipelines, which run through the entire back of the phone, almost, almost like the OnePlus 11 concept has its own series of blood vessels. Um, ugh. And uh, this is going to be revealed next week at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona with uh, all the hamon. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, but the, the, the question that, that brings up is that brings up when you see all these LEDs is that, uh, does it make, does this, uh, mean the OnePlus 11 is making a foray into gaming phone? Um, <laughs> That's all it takes. You know? LED That's on all the back. It takes, just some, some dramatic lighting. Um, but, you know, it's got a <laughs> Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 120, 20, 120 Hertz display, 100 watt charging, um, or... Could OnePlus be taking a little dig at their former founder, now uh, head of nothing, Carl Pei, yeah. um, with this design? Which fascinating that this comes right hot off the heels of recently Carl Pei uh, took to YouTube to re give his opinion of the new OnePlus um, and uh, threw some shade back at his former company. Um, do we got a little feud going on here between OnePlus and nothing? Is that what's happening? You yeah, think? I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I mean. Did OnePlus make this specifically to counter nothing? I, I don't know, but yeah. pretty interesting that they're both doing that thing. You know, uh, the, the nothing phone one had it uh, with their glyph interface on the back last year. And then now OnePlus has this. Yeah, there's the nothing phone one. Um you know, not not very many LEDs back there compared to what we're seeing on the OnePlus. So I mean, it's, not, it's, like, an LED it's not like there's war. a bloodstream. It's not like a bloodstream of LEDs in the back of that. Yeah. Phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just like the idea that it's a, Ooh, a sarcastic yeah. like response to the nothing phone. Like, yeah, yeah. you want LEDs? Sure. Fine. Here, here. You we go. got LEDs. LEDs. Go. Yeah. Ours Woo. are blue. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I don't know if that's the case, but I think that'd be really funny. It was just more like they pre-clap back at like, you know, um, uh, at, at at nothing just to be you know like yeah yeah just we to be petty like, <laughs> yeah Ooh. sure we'll make a limited edition release of our <laughs> phone see we can do it too hey what's going on everybody i am Ant pruitt and i'm the host of hands-on photography here on twit tv i know you got yourself a fancy smartphone you got yourself a fancy camera but your pictures are still lacking can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. <laughs> <laughs> 